Hello friends, this is Cold Run back with Dragon Age Inquisition. We are here in the Hissing Wastes, about to take on the last Fade Rift, but then we're going to be searching for... Um, the main thing I'm going to be searching for this session is... Uh, not that. Inquisitor's Path is only the final piece left. Salted Plains, uh, I don't really care about that. Hinterlands, I don't really care about that. And so really the only thing I have left that I want to find is... There's a couple more notes on the Wastes, but there's also... The Tomb of Feyrell. I have to find the Statue Tomb's treasure and the Graveyard Tomb's treasure. So right now we're at the Statue Camp. So I imagine the Statue Tomb will be around here. The Graveyard Tomb... Let me just take a quick look. No Canyon, Ruin, Logging Camp. Those are not things. Cove Camp. Lonely Light. Tomb of Feyrell. Tomb Mountain Fortress Camp, Sun Top Mountain Camp. So uh, the Graveyard Camp, I don't know where it is. Like, I don't know where the Graveyard Camp or the, it will be, but I'm going to guess it's in one of these shaded areas. So after this, I'm going to explore a bit. Discovered the Rippling Dunes. So I was just here out um, looking for the next tomb, and instead I discovered some dunes. Oh, this is the Colossus. So we've... I guess we haven't seen it before. So it's a statue of a person with their arm outstretched. That seems really hard to do on a large scale, to make that stand up. Claim. The Colossus of Orlais. Emperor Florian, in addition to being notoriously reclusive, was not fond of his own visage. Orlesian emperors and empresses are traditionally immortalized in gilded marble. Florian, forced to commission something, instead chose a red sandstone found only in the hissing wastes. He demanded his likeness be carved there, away from where he could see it. Big mood. When presented with an official proposal, the emperor idly drew on the paper, adding circles around the royal crest, the statue's eyes, and the dimensions and cost of the project. Florian's signature turned it into an official court document, and he refused to entertain more modest proposals, hastily drafted and sent to his chambers, as he considered the matter over and done with at last. Thus the Colossus of Orlais was born. This is an awesome background. Dozens of sculptors, hundreds of miners, and three highly paid surveyors selected a suitably stable hill in the wastes to begin carving. A year into the project, workers uncovered an old dwarven ruin near the base of the statue. Believing this to be a sign that the ground was sturdy, uh, the groundwork continued until Florian's death. When Empress Selene took the throne and ordered the work on the costly eff effigy to immediately cease, when Emperor Selene, until Florian's death, when Emperor Selene took the throne and ordered work on the costly effigy, immediately cease. We must give our subjects working on this noble project time to mourn. <laughs> Strangely, Emperor Selene never ordered work on the Colossus of Orlais to resume. Very strange, yeah. Noah Orf offered a plan to transport it out of the wastes from an illumination of the art and artifacts of the Imperial Court of Orlais. That is awesome. See, even emperors can hate themselves. They probably have more reason to do so than most of us. Alright, so this is another tomb. This is probably the statue tomb. Like the Brazier. Brazier. Spiderinos. Uh, where'd that go? Oh, there it is. Take. Illuminate. I'm, I'm expecting there to be another of these um, pillar puzzles here. Yes, my expectations are met. Uh, did we drop the thing? Yes. Alright, let's see what we got here. Inscription, Feral, Paragon fled from the strife his brilliance created. It's not the start. His own clan and his two sons followed Feral to the pitiless surface. The strife that destroyed tigs, sundered houses from weapons, 
that clan used against clan. The, st the strife that destroyed tigs sundered houses from weapons that clan used against clan. That's a weird bit of words. The surface where they would hide from the war that took their home. So, okay, so this is, these are like, this is a little bit trickier, I don't know, for me it is at least. Let's try this. Theril, Paragon, fled from the strife as brilliance created. Is that a comma? Yeah, that's a comma. Oh. Okay, you got this. Sorry, um, lost my train of thought. Feral Paragon fled from the strife as brilliance created. The strife that destroyed Tyg sundered houses from weapons that clan used against clan. And then I think it's, so I think it's one, two, and then his own clan and his two sons followed Feyrell to the pity, pitiless surface. The surface where they would hide from the war that took their home. So I think it's that. Oh, we have to take out the spider leader first. That. Perhaps if I made an attempt. Oh, I thought I had. Oh, God damn it! I thought I had the torch already. I guess I dropped it before. And then it was, yeah, this one. And then the last one. Got it. Looks like these runes are dedicated to a paragon. That accounts for a lot. What do you mean? It's, uh, hard to explain. Paragons don't sound impressive on paper. Oh, so you invented a new hat or, or table saw. So what? But when they come through, they're like an avalanche. Dwarves wait entire generations for... Ah, you know what? Let's find that last tomb. This I am is making me think too much about dwarf stuff. I'm so glad I brought Varric to this. I'm sorry I didn't bring him for earlier. Sacrifice number ten. I'm guessing. All right, so I'm guessing that there's another mosaic piece in the fifth tomb, in the graveyard tomb, and then in the tomb of Pharaoh. Should be another key fragment. Yes. Serpent's rage. Tier three axe schematic. Okay. And so now we just have to find the graveyard tomb. Oh my goodness, there's going to be a lot of this place to explore. Because I don't have a clear sense of like what I haven't seen yet. I guess I'll start just by trying to clear this area out first. And I'll... I mean, I'm looking at this statue of the Burial Grounds tomb, and there's two statues, but there's statues all over the friggin' place here. I don't know. Hello? I was... So I came down here, I ran into uh, the wind, the, the kind of the, the barrier here. Who are you? Are you that person from before? Hunter. It's a pleasure to see a new face. Watch out for those Tevinter mages. They aren't so kindly as Hunter Mag, which is me. You are fantastic, Hunter Mag. No, damn it! No, that's not what I wanted to do. The winds. I don't want to heat the winds. I want to get off this friggin' horse. This deer th no, let me get off. God damn it. Okay, now let's talk, because you seem awesome. Fine night. Anything I should look out for? Watch out if you have to fill your water skins. There's more monsters than normal staking out the oasis. Do you know what the Venatory mages are doing here? Arguing amongst themselves, mostly. I think they're trying to find a way inside that tomb with the two statues. It's locked tight as far as I can tell. Yeah, I'll get it before they do. Why well, come out here for game? What do you hunt? Not game. I bring back fine furs and shiny teeth they cut and sew in or lay. I'm not the only hunter here. Val Royal is always hungry for the best. He can make a fortune feeding that beast. Quill back spines, for example. All the fashion for men's hats last winter. Farewell. Keep your water handy. 
Well, you are fantastic. Let's slay the beast quest completed. Oh, okay. Um, that was cool. That was a cool little side character we got to meet. Uh, let's continue the search for... So I, I've... I'm just going along the borders here, like, looking for... Trying to stake out, like, how far this map goes. At long friggin' last. Okay. I didn't... There was a thing that popped up, but I looked at the map too quickly. Burial grounds. We are here. We found it. We found it. We found it. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know if there was... Maybe we were just supposed to find it by wandering. I don't know. Okay, so we got... Let's, let's dismount. We got dwarven statues of the wazoo here. Graves. Yeah, this is where we want to be. There's definitely going to be my the final tomb here. This is the... Yeah, the graveyard tomb is 100% going to be here. Along with a treasure. Something here. Better take a closer look. Is this wine? Bottle of Thetis. Bottles of Thetis. Aqua Magus. Fine spirits infused with a bit of refined lyrium. Potentially faded if ingested in quantity. Uh, maybe I should give that as a present. No, actually, that would be a horrible... I was going to say I should give that to, uh, to Cullen, but he's trying to get off the stuff. Okay, so we have another one of these reading puzzles here, but this is above the ground. Um, interesting. Let's first look here, because there's a... Let's claim. And this is the last landmark. Okay. The empty square. An open tomb has eroded over the centuries. Carved into the... An open tomb. Okay. All carved into the stone, almost too faint to see, is a bas-relief of an enormous helmeted dwarf flanked by two smaller dwarves marching out of a mountain under a beaming sun. Yeah, the story of the dwarves in this in this area. Coming into the light. So where was that that thing to read here? And work together for a time side by side, each ruled half the tide. Interesting. So this is going to be a bit more spread out than the last one. So this is like each ruled half the tide. Okay, yeah, so we're going to have to... I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Pharaoh's sons built monuments to their father, locking away his great works. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Tomb, I think, is going to be locked. Yeah, magically sealed. I've been looking for other inscriptions, but I'm not seeing them. Maybe it's just these two, and then once I do these two, it'll unlock the tomb over there. Okay, uh, let's switch over to... Yeah, we got Solus here. And so that's the second part. Let's try... Pharaoh's sons built monuments to their father, locking away his great works. One. And the second one should be over here. Pharaoh's sons built monuments to his, their father, locking, locking away his great works, and worked together for a time side by side, each ruled half the tig. So let's see if that opens up the tomb in the in the down here. Oh, there's more. And where one brother fell, the other raised bloodied axe and hand alone. I didn't see this. Okay. So there must be a fourth. Ah, there's the fourth. But each ruled differently. They argued and heated words made the brothers duel. It's going to be this. And then the other one. Where's that other? It's over here, I think. 
No, that was one of the first ones. I think it's... Here it is. So he did, so the brothers argued, blah, blah, blah. And where one brother fell, the other raised bloodied axe and hand alone. See what's in this one. Probably yes. Probably similar to what's in the last four. You know, I don't buy that stuff about dwarven ancestors living on in the stone, and we're above ground anyway. But something about this place gives me the creeps. Yeah, this is going to be a weird experience for him. Masterwork dual curved blade. Okay, dwarven banner crown sounds good. All these Mosaic piece. Inside the tombs we found, they make up a key. Ingenious. Let us see what it unlocks. And we know what it unlocks, but we don't know what's actually going to be inside there. So let's go find out right now. Ooh, on my way to the tomb of Pharaoh, I got one of these. That's not the thing. Okay, here we are. A journal on dwarf and ruin. Seven out of eight. Oh, we're one short. I have just discovered Pharaoh's tomb in the east. I've never seen anything so something so sodden and grand in all my life. I won't write an essay on this place. I'll write a book. Several books. I will, I'll be rich and bring a whole expedition here, and the University of Orlais will beg me to lecture when I'm not presenting my findings to the Empress herself over dinner. Ah, oh, yes, the glamorous life of an academic. That is, if I can get inside Pharaoh's tomb. The doors are sealed tight. It looks like there's a keyhole, but none of the ruins I've seen have anything even hinting at a key. On the way out, I saw I'd missed a few bones on the ground. They were still bloody. Sheer luck that whatever lives around there wasn't home when I arrived. Yeah, that was the dragon. All right, cleared out some of these wyverns. So you're Ben Hazrath, huh? The spies of the Kunari. Oh, you've heard of us. I spent some time in Kirkwall. That must have been fun. You could say that. These two seem like if I spent more time with them together in a party, they would have a lot of fun together. Here we... here we are. What awaits us inside here? Is it going to be a fight? Is it going to be just loot? Is it going to be lore? Okay, step one, we're in. Does that say something? No, it's just... The dwarven tubes are very shiny on the inside. Well, light reflecting makes me think there's others I'm seeing things. Final mosaic piece, so we've comple completed sacrifice. Oh, and we got just some loot. Promise of the Storm, Bianca aiming enhanced. Never seen a room like this before. Is this what the Venatori were after? Ah, you're holding the legacy of a paragon. Empires used to kill for them. Heck, they still do. Whatever it does, it's probably ancient and invaluable, so try not to drop it in the sand. I thought you weren't interested in dwarven history. Well, if you want an encyclopedia entry, it may as well be from someone charming. So what did we actually... I guess we just collected the... Yeah, I guess we just finished off collecting the, the codex for this. Is there going to be anything new here? Anything different here? There is... Yeah, so okay, so the, we've read most of this before. Let me just go from the, the second to last stanza here. This is the tale of Pharaoh, paragon among paragons, father of two sons, who, against their father's wishes, fought from foolish words and in foolish pride. For pride these halls were made to honor a father's deeds and grieve his loss. And for loss, these halls were made to honor a brother mourned, a father taken by time, a brother dead by his own, by my own hand, by my own hand. With this work, behold my grief in stone and shifting sand. Yeah, this is the surviving brother who regrets the war. There. Oh, lurker. Okay. Um, I don't think I read this before. Lurker, you want to hunt lurkers? All right. Then there's a few things you should know. 
First, they don't just live in caves. Some of the locals call them cave lurkers, but I've seen them in the wastelands. Yeah, me too. In the marshes, really anywhere you think creatures shouldn't be able to live. Why? Because they eat almost anything, and they eat rarely when they're not hunting. And they eat rarely. When they're not hunting, they curl up in a sort of hibernation to conserve energy. If you can catch them in that state, consider yourself lucky. If not, you'll need to be on your toes. They're quiet when they want to be, you see, hence the lurk part of their name. They hunt in packs. That's terrifying. They spit poison. In fact, I've lost more than one fellow because a group of lurkers descended upon him while he took a piss in the bushes. They surround him, paralyze him, and then tear him to pieces, all without the rest of the camp knowing a single thing was going on not 20 feet away. The most dangerous things to eat <laughs> by Paul Aguirre, Ag Paul Aguirre Fredi, okay? I'm sure that there's a market for that. But I think we're kind of done in Hissing Wastes. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty comfortable that we're done in the Hissing Wastes. I don't, yeah, I think we're done. I think we're like, I mean, again, there's that quest that I haven't, there's that, uh, was it Notes on the Wastes that from the, from the scholar studying the Dwarven runes, but I don't know. There's one page missing. I have no real idea where it is. And I don't particularly feel like wandering this whole place just to find it. So I think I'm good for now. I think I'm good. Um, let me know if I guess if it's really important or if I should really track that down. Um, but otherwise, my plan next time, I'm going to wrap it up here. My plan next time is to go back to Skyhold to talk to folks and see if any final dialogue, and then I'll progress on to the Altar of Mithal. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.